Okay, here we are at step two of our merging videos. Now then, most of the time, whenever we're dealing with a developer scenario where we've got a local host and we've got the live site, usually the only time things are gonna change on the live site while you're working on that live site on the local environment is a post. And that's what I'm demonstrating here because typically you're not gonna be changing pages or plugins or doing any customizations on the live version. That's what's taking place on the local version. Okay, so to more accurately demonstrate this entire process, we've only changed a post. Okay, and that's this guy right here. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because to export, and that's what we're doing here in step two is exporting the files, all we're gonna be exporting are the changed item. And in this case, that's the post. So we log into our admin area of our live site, come on over here to the left sidebar and in tools, go to export. And instead of the default all content, we're only gonna select post. Actually, actually we're gonna do post and media, but we have to do that with two different exports because we can't do both of these at the same time. At least ways I haven't found out a way to do that. So we just click on that, leave everything in the default setting here. We just click on post and then click on download export file. Navigate to the location on our computer where we want to download that to, and I'm going to put it in the from live, but I'm also going to just going to add to the file name post because I'm going to do another one that says media. Okay, so click on save. Super simple, done. Now we're going to do another export for just the media. Again, leave everything default, just select media, download export file. I'd go ahead and put it in the same location as the post XML file, but I'm going to change this one and add media. That way I've got two different files and I know which one is which. And you'll see here in a little bit why that's going to come in handy. Okay, so we've got our export taken care of. And in the next video, we're going to import those files into the local host setting.